at the Lightning Talks at Fostham here in Brussels. I want to introduce you to you Jason and Zach. They talk about image self-hosted photo and video management solution. Get them a warm welcome and enjoy the talk. All right, uh, thank you. I'm Jason, and this is Zach. We're members of the Image team. Um, Image joined the Fudo company organization last May, and the two of us are able to work on it full time, which is pretty cool, pretty fun. Uh, before we get started, how many of you guys have heard of Image before? <laughs> okay, for those of you that haven't heard of Image, uh, no. Image is a high performance video and photo management solution. Um, I think actually on Monday, it will be three years since the first commit. So it's a pretty new project. It's not been around for very long. It has um, a web app and a mobile app. And the primary use case for it is to run this at your house. And you can take pictures on your phone and back them up to your server on your house. So basically, a self-hosted Google Photos implementation. Um, a little bit about the tech stack. It's uh, basically TypeScript everywhere. We have an Express um, node server uh, for our API, and the front end is written in Svelte, which is also a TypeScript framework. Uh, the back end we use is Postgres, and I guess notably we use a couple of extensions to do uh, specifically like vector searches. So we have a bunch of cool machine learning features built into image. And Postgres plus vector extensions and a few other things let us do um, basically everything we want to do with just a single database. On the mobile side, the app is written in Flutter and it compiles to Android and iOS. So that's something a little bit unique about us. A lot of self-hosted open source apps don't have great don't have a mobile app or don't have a great mobile app, but that's one of the things that um, was important to our primary use case, which is taking pictures on your phone and backing them up to your server. Uh, it's also worth noting that we have a bunch of machine learning features, and uh, I'm not a machine learning guy, but from what I understand, Python is the way to do that. So we have a specific container you deploy that's written in Python, and it can run and load models for facial recognition and generate embeddings for search and other, other stuff like that. All right, we're going to do a live demo. I want to show you some of the pictures. I, I'm from the United States. I flew into Germany and uh, spent a few days there before coming up to, to Brussels. So we're going to look at some of my pictures I have set up on a demo instance and look at some of the features and capabilities that uh, Image has. So uh, you notice the first thing, there's this scribble timeline. So you can just click and jump to any uh, point in time. It makes it really nice to be able to just go back and find pictures. So in January, I, yeah, it's like last month. It's like two days ago or whatever. But in January, you know, I flew into Frankfurt, and I spent a couple of days with Daniel. And I'm going to make an album and share it with the rest of the team. So you can see, you know, it's... Uh, there, uh, we don't have very many cool castles in the United States, but in Europe, there's cool castles everywhere. I went and saw a cool castle in Germany. Took a, w probably too many pictures, but the server is on my house, you know, so I have plenty of stores, no problem. Uh, went to a, a couple museums and saw a bunch of cool buildings and stuff. Anyways, let's put all these in a album. So I can just uh, shift select and add those to an album. I'll make a Oh, I already have a Fawcett album. <laughs> I'll make a new album. <laughs> yeah, and here you can you can change the title, you add a description. But the most important thing about albums is you can share them with other people. So I'll share them with Zach and Alex. Alex is the main founder of the team, and he actually started working on this because he asked his wife, like, "What should I build for you?" And she was like. We're about to have a baby. I'm going to take lots of pictures. Can you build an app for me? And so he started working on Image. And over time, he got a bunch of other people that also needed a place to put their pictures. 
He actually just had a baby this last week, so he's not here, and he sent us in his stead. But you know, I'll share these pictures with Alex. So on this instance, Alex can log in, Zach can log in, and they can see this album that I've shared with them. But um, I also have other people I want to share it with that aren't on this instance, so I can generate what's called a shared link. So you can access this without having to log in. You can optionally uh, password protect it, and you can choose whether to show metadata, which is like the GPS location that the pictures were taken in, and stuff like that. So if I create this link, you know, I can open the incognito tab, and you could access this and see all the pictures on it, which is pretty cool to be able to share with uh, friends and stuff. Something else that's pretty cool about Image is we have a map view. So you can see on this map all the different places I've been and where pictures have been taken. You can, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes it's uh, really nice to be able to just uh, know I took a picture in this area, but I don't remember when it was or what it was about necessarily. But you, so you can like use the map to kind of go back and explore where I visited in Europe and you know, stuff like that. Something else, um, when you upload a picture, we run like a bunch of tasks, and it will go and do a bunch of things that um, enhances the, the things you can do with your photos. And one of the things we do is facial recognition. So we had some of the team members upload their pictures for us, and so you can see some of them here. But like these are all the pictures with me in them. We went to a uh, illusionist place, and I'm taller than Ben, but not in this picture. Also on the detailed page, you, know, you can add a description, you can favorite um, and mark them with like a five star rating. We also support like hierarchical tags, so you can have like nested tags, you can link to these pictures, and then you can use that to view them. Yeah, and then uh, to do the, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if, this is kind of our web application, and but we also want to show off a little bit the mobile app. So I'll turn the time over to Zach, who will do a little bit of the demo for the mobile side. Yeah, so the mobile app looks uh, pretty similar on the timeline view. We have the same like scrubber on the side. You can jump to anywhere you like. Uh, you can also, if you have photos locally, they'll show up here if you're backing them up. Uh, and one of the things we have is a automatic background backup. So I'm going to take a photo of the crowd now and uh, then we'll take a photo of this laptop and this bottle here and then uh, we'll go back to the app and they've uploaded. They don't have thumbnails yet. Give them a second. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they've, they've already uploaded to the server, apart from the bottle one. Uh, and we, can, we should already be able to go into the search, for example. And we have a, a, a smart a machine learning search based off of Clip. And we should be able to search for uh, like lecture hall in here. And hopefully, I think it's that one there. The thumbnail is having a bit of a problem, but <laughs> there you go. Similarly, maybe more relevant to people, we could search for like cat, and we have all uh, the cat pictures of my cats and the, um, one of our, some of our contributors. So, yeah, the search is the search is really cool. Uh, I think a lot of people like how great the search works. And you can get really specific with the terms and pretty much always find the photo you'd like. Um, yeah, and it has all the other features. So we, again, we have the map view where you can go in and, and see a heat map of all the photos. And like scroll and you'll see all the photos on your screen. But yeah, that's the app. Uh, shall we go on to the next? One more. Cool, so now I'm going to talk about a few of the things that are upcoming for Image. So the main one that everyone kind of wants to see happen is a stable release, including us. We, uh, this kind of will bring, uh, for, for you guys, we want to have proper semantic versioning, backwards compatibility for apps. Right now, we kind of only keep a couple versions working, like guaranteed working. 
but when we go with this, it will be like all major versions will work, that kind of thing. The kind of stuff you expect from a stable piece of software. Uh, but yeah, we, we are aiming towards this as like our main goal at the moment. Lock photos is another one that is probably one of our high, highest requested features, uh, which I think the other apps, like uh, the app that shall not be named has, uh, where you can put your photos in a like a password protected or pin protected folder that doesn't show up in the main timeline, that kind of thing. So we're working on that as well. Smart albums. This is one we've wanted for a long time. Uh, so uh, we've done some work to uh, go towards this. Uh, basically the idea is you'll be able to have any of like the metadata or uh, people, dates, locations as it says. Uh, as well as uh, we even want to have like search terms. So the search you saw before, you'll be able to use that and have like a, a uh, I can't remember what it's called, when you have like the number, if it's like confident over a certain level, uh, it will go into an album and it will automatically update this album whenever new photos are uploaded. And this is kind of powered by another feature which will be called workflows which will allow you to do that kind of automation, like automated albums, but across any action on the server. So you could do automated tagging, uh, whatever actions, <laughs> automated tagging, the, the you albums. Can, you could automatically add users to albums if there is a person in it that you want to automatically share it with. You can yeah. like create shared links. You could have like external integrations. You could like auto share things to Facebook if it meets some criteria. So basically, like anything you would want to do, the, the thing that's kind of cool about Image is there's a hu huge community of people building other stuff around it. There's like other apps people are using APIs to like do crazy stuff with, and like some of those things would be easier if you could do it in Image itself. If you want to run your own machine learning model that does some other type of analysis on the pictures that are uploaded or or stuff like that, or m maybe you want to pay for an AI integration something and you could like send these pictures there to have them do some additional stuff. Uh, yeah, I think basically we have like a, a lot of feature requests and a lot of those things are very, are things that probably only a few people want but we want to enable those but we don't want to build those ourselves. So this will en enable the community to make plugins to do that kind of thing as well. Uh, and then another big one that you can do on, the app should not be named but we can't do here is because all of our instances are separate on other people's uh, machines. You cannot share an album between two instances right now. But we want to add federations so you could have an album and share and add photos from two different servers or even like three, four, five different servers. And all of the different servers will be able to see the albums uh, from and, and add, out, add pictures from every, uh, every user on those servers. So this will enable like a more seamless experience, kind of like what you'd get with the bigger uh, cloud providers, but still self-hosted and all of that great stuff. And then uh, we want to enable easier backups for users that aren't as confident with self-hosting. They still want to run a server at home and they've got the expertise to do that kind of thing, but aren't confident with like setting up backups and restoring. It's kind of a quite a complicated thing to do correctly. So we want to enable something in image itself where it's just kind of a one click. You pay us a fee. We end to end encrypt all the backups. This goes onto our cloud servers and then if you need to restore it, it's there. It's all protected. Uh, and then following from that. Well, I think I'll, I'll just say too, like uh a lot of people run apps at home, and if you have backups or not for some of this stuff, I feel like it doesn't matter too much, but pictures is a little bit different. Like, you don't want to lose your photos, yeah. and it's like, backups are hard, and backups are photos, and specific, specifically, is like something you don't want to get wrong. So there's plenty of people, I think, out there that would just like to have an option to pay us to deal with that for them, and so we want to enable those types of use cases as well. Yeah, we're trying to protect you from your angry relatives if you ever lose your photos. Uh, and then moving on from that, just a brief mention. Following, we want to build a full cloud solution at some point. Uh, so people who are completely non-technical can still have all the benefits of image, but without having to actually run at home. So yeah.
And the last mention is we just launched merch. Uh, you can go to Image of Store and you can grab yourself some of these designs on t-shirts, hoodies, uh, stickers, magnets, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we'll have some at the booth tomorrow. Uh, I think we said if you have an image installed and you can show it to us, then uh, you get a free t-shirt. <laughs> so. Cool. You can find us on our socials here. We have nine seconds. Thank you for coming. <laughs> And yeah, catch us at our stand tomorrow in Building K Level 2. Okay, thank you for your talk.